your girl Shalane. I'm back today with another video. In today's video, we want to discuss Social Security. Guys, there's so many changes that's on the horizon with Social Security that I have to share them with you. So if you want to know where the money reside, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered now. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in, just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like, especially if you love me bringing this content to you. I'm so excited to share something that has completely transformed how I handle my hectic life. Huge thanks to Sasama for sponsoring this video. As a cosmetology student, a business owner, a wife, finding time for everything, this used to be a major challenge for me. But let me tell you, with the right tools, it's not just possible, it's empowering. <laughs> Enter Sasama. Now, this is not just a daily planner. This is my secret for staying organized as well as on top of my game. So every night before I go to bed, I log into the Sasama app and I plan out my day, my week, as well as my weekend. Now I'm able to go in there and I can add tasks to the Sasama calendar, which is integrated with my Google calendar. And this allows me to allocate time for each task. So it's like making a promise to myself, like, girl, you got you, okay? And it's totally okay to put yourself first. But when I'm in work mode, there's nothing that can distract me. I don't want any emails, no phone calls. This is just pure focus. Now, we've all heard it before. Fail to plan and you plan to fail. This is so true. Without a plan, you're going to be left wondering where your time went. Why does your success feel out of reach? This is where Sasama makes that work-life balance a reality. So from scheduling meetings to managing emails as well as tasks, Sasama is that game changer for me. So let's go ahead and see how my day went because it was very productive. It was fulfilling and balanced. Like today, it was a good day and I'm officially about to call it a wrap. But here's the best part, guys. You can start your free trial of Sasama today. There's no credit card required. Just head over to www.sasama.com forward slash a forward slash chalet and Sasama is so confident that you will love it here that they don't even ask for your card up front so get Sasama today you can start planning your sustainable work day as well as preventing burnout and start achieving those goals trust me you won't regret it you will love it here all right guys so let's go ahead and kick things off with the validity of this new stimulus check claims I read all your comments and a lot of people have been asking like chalet is Social Security or SSDI getting a stimulus check? And I get it, right? Americans have been bombarded online with all these claims about an alleged fourth stimulus check that will be going out to seniors or people with disabilities. But guys, these are all just rumors, okay? There is no check that is on the way. And you know if it was, I would have you, right? But the IRS spokesman, Anthony Burke, he stated today that the IRS has paid out all the economic impact payments and the Treasury Department. They also spoke with USA Today and they said there is no new round of stimulus checks that have been approved. Now, Burke also said that people can go to irs.gov because that is a definitive source of information. Now, on the flip side of that, if you are missing your 2020 or 2021 recovery rebate credit, then you can claim it by filing a 2023 tax return. But the deadline to claim your 2020 credit is May 17th and then for 2021 is April 15th of 2025. So the claims that these new payments are on the way, they said this is all due to the growth of generative artificial intelligence in content creation. So they said that they've seen all these claims come up regularly on websites saying that you can get a fourth stimulus check. You guys have seen them in videos as ads as well, but they did have where it was explained to AARP it's a very in line with the type of content that we see from them. So this is like a hoax that is aimed at generating clicks and getting people to their website. Now, if you go to AARP website, they reviewed those websites as well. They have information on there. They use like a common search term like stimulus check and it applied to so many claims on there. So 
the IRS, it said on the website that they were about to send new payments to multiple states offering tax credits, um, rebates, and Congress is going to increase Social Security benefits. All this is false. Like you can read the full story on AARP website. They do have a tracking center that has identified more than 700 news and information running websites with little or no human oversight as well. So they said like this number is growing on a weekly basis and the tracker count is just scratching the surface. So that's what we have going on. No new checks, no payments at all. I will definitely keep you updated, but unfortunately technology has not, you know, the law has not kept up with technology. That's the easiest way to put it. So no stimulus check. Let's go ahead and move on with other social security. So we talked about this the other day where social security recipients will now have to pay back less if they were inadvertently overpaid. So the social security administration, if you go to their website, they announced today that they will no longer automatically withhold 100% of the overpayment amount from recipients monthly benefits. Instead, they're going to collect 10% or $10, whichever is greater to recover the overpayment. There also will be like limited exceptions, such as when like if the overpayment resulted from fraud, um, but the social security right now, they are taking a critical important step towards their goal of ensuring overpayment policies are fair and do not unduly harm anyone as well. So the Social Security Commissioner Martin O'Malley, he did say this in a statement. He said that it's uncontrollable that someone would find themselves facing homelessness or unable to pay bills because Social Security has withheld their entire payment for recovery on an overpayment. So the change applies to new overpayments, but, 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 but those that already have an overpayment that is more than 10% of your benefits withheld, you can contact the Social Security Administration office to go ahead and discuss reducing that rate as well. Now, guys, I'm gonna let you know, customer service is gonna be crazy, right? And there will be like a short transition period where people will continue to experience the older policy as well. All right, so hopefully that helps. Let's move on to the next story. Uh, let me go ahead and add the number just in case if you guys need it. It's 1-800-772-1213 for your withholding rate as well. So call them if you need to, okay? Now, there are new fixes as well, according to the Social Security Commissioner regarding the solvency. So anyone who works legally in the United States and pays taxes into Social Security, we all know that this is meant to provide benefits once you retire. But there are a, a growing number of concerns about the possibility of that money that will be running out in the next decade. So there has been a lot of talks where the Social Security uh, Commissioner, Martin O'Malley, he said, if for some reason, right, Congress does not act before 2034, then we all know that we will go ahead and see roughly a 24% across the board to every beneficiary. Now, he said he personally, he does not think that's going to happen. Congress has taken every action every time that they've approached them like an event in the past. And he said that he's optimistic that Congress will again take those necessary actions to make sure that the program remains intact for future beneficiaries as well. So we all know that right now, like Democrats and Republicans together, they have found enough votes to work it out in a way and find a way to move forward. So this is what he stated now about like previous actions that's been going on in Congress. He did say that one change that can help is revising the tax code as well, because we all know that currently people who are only taxed for Social Security up to the first 168,600, that means that while most workers are taxed for Social Security on their full income, higher earners are contributing at a lower percentage as well. So there are fixes to this, according to O'Malley. He said it's not rocket science. And one of them is to ask wealthier earners to continue to pay into Social Security. I mean, everybody's been saying this, right? Now, many Democrats support raising the cap on the taxable income for Social Security. And then we have on the other side, well, 
where Republicans have argued against raising taxes as well. So instead a Republican budget, it does propose for making modest adjustments for the retirement age, as well as we've seen where future beneficiaries and lower um, benefits for the wealthiest retirees as well. So this Social Security is going to be like bananas this election season on how can we preserve it, how we can do all these things. So it's going to be interesting to see. But O'Malley did go ahead and give this message to the younger generation who may be concerned about their future benefits. He said, what I would say to a younger person and what I would say to my own adult children is Social Security is not going to go bankrupt because it is a pay-as-you-go system. So as long as Americans, they keep working, there will always be money in Social Security as well. So, hey, I like it. I love it. I want more of it. What do you guys think? And for our last story, they said Social Security is a top issue for Florida voters in 2024 so they said florida without question is one of the most important states in our country's presidential election boosting an impressive 30 electoral votes the sunshine state is a must win for any person that is looking to win the white house and lead the nation in 2025 so in order to do that they said the winning can candidate must fully commit to protecting social security and they say that the state is the second highest population of people 50 and over in the country, second to California at large. Um, and a large number of those people in Florida, they said they rely on Social Security. So they were like, look, in order for you to win this election, the Floridians know that uh, you're going to need the voters in their states in the, the upcoming months as well. So any presidential hopefuls, you must champion for Social Security where a lot of people depend on it. Not only do they depend on it, but they have rightfully earned their participation in. And it's worth noting that one of our states is the most widely known residents of former President Donald Trump. Now, historically, they said he has promised not to cut Social Security if reelected. But recently, he did make a comment that suggested the opposite. Whereas we know that the, the former president, he did walk back on those comments. He cleared it up and he said, hey, look, I will never do anything that will jeopardize or hurt Social Security or Medicare. He did say that in the interview. But they said as the general election gets underway, any candidate who wants to be taken seriously in Florida, they must be unequivocal in their defense of Social Security. So if they waver in their stance at all, you're not going to win Florida and you're not going to be in that White House. Let me know if you think that is the truth or not. And this is what we have going in, um, what we have going on today for Social Security. And that is it, guys. This is all we have. You can start your free trial of Sasama today. No credit card required. Just go over to www.sasama.com forward slash A forward slash Chalet to sign up. Guys, Susama is so confident that you'll love it. You don't even have to submit your card up front. Go ahead and try out and get Susama today to start planning your sustainable work day, prevent burnout, and achieve your goals, okay? Trust me, you won't regret it. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you later, Gator. Bye, guys.